Hello everyone, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac. We reached 300 subscribers the other day, uh, which is pretty awesome, so I decided to play something a little different uh, as a tribute to that. This is, um, like I said, The Binding of Isaac. This is Afterbirth Plus, the new expansion that came out uh, hmm, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I think. Um, it actually kind of surprised me. I didn't even realize it was on its way. I had been playing The Binding of Isaac for a while, and then I kind of stopped, and then I got back into it um, when I realized that this had come out. So we're going to go ahead and play this. But like I said, this is a uh, 300 subscriber uh, edition Let's Play. So thank you very much. Before we get started, thank you very much for um, sticking with me, subscribing, and for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And this is more than I would have ever expected to happen, so um, I really, really am grateful for that. So thank you very much, and let's get into it. Now, I did play a little bit uh, of this already, um, just to kind of get a feel for what was different. And there are a lot of things that are different that I haven't seen yet, I'm sure. Um, but there are, are some that I have, too. So you can see, this is my save file from... Uh, from uh, Afterbirth, uh, it just imports right into the right into Afterbirth Plus. Um, so let's just start a new run, and we're gonna use my favorite character, which is Samson. He just seems easier than most. <laughs> That's why he's my favorite, really. All right, so how to? Oh, hello. If you haven't played Binding of Isaac, um, it's basically a roguelike RPG, or an RPG with roguelike elements is probably a better way of, of putting it. Um, basically, you're a baby who shoots tears, well, a, a, a toddler, uh, more or less, who runs around in his dungeon and shoots tears. And there's a whole story um, behind all that, but um, yeah, your tears are your main weapons, or your tears is, yeah, your tears are your main weapons, um, and you have, like, you have bombs that you can, you know, blow things up with, blow holes in walls, um, kill people with, and do all sorts of stuff, of stuff like that with, and you have keys which can open doors, and you have coins which you can use to buy things in the various shops that you find in your basement. But basically... It's roguelike RPG now. Roguelike RPG. You're the the basic thing you're trying to do is survive all the way to the and that was dumb. All the way to the uh, last floor, which is not easy. The, this game is actually really difficult. <laughs> it might oh gosh, it might not be difficult for some people, but it's really difficult for me. So this should be a fun and exciting adventure. There are tons of different enemies and uh, some of them will act the same and then some of them have surprises like this guy basically asteroids on steroids um but yeah so it, it's a very simple it's a very simple concept but it's an incredibly difficult game and an incredibly addicting game as well. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Um, as long as you are not the type who will easily get frustrated and throw your controller across the room, uh, because <laughs> that is what this game will will make you want to do until you get the hang of it. And even even when you get the hang of it, you'll still want to do that. So, um, oh gosh, oh dear, oh dear. oh no 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 no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, bad 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 bad. I goofed. I goofed very much. The idea when fighting this guy is to focus on doing one head at a time. Um, because it gets very difficult to maneuver around all of them at once. And I did not follow that advice. Well, I did mostly, and then at the very end, I kind of screwed it up. Oh. Nope. 
The RPG elements, by the way, come in the form of um, your stats. Uh, there you go. So you got your, you've got your. Um, you can't see because I can't point at the thing and there's no cursor. But you've got uh, from top left to bottom right, speed, uh, shot speed, damage. Um, wait, speed, shot speed, damage. Oh, r range. Wait, no. Huh. I'm not sure what that fifth one is. Speed, shot speed, or no, speed. You know what? I have no idea. <laughs> I think the I think the second one is like the amount of projectiles that can be on the screen at once, and then damage, and then range, and then shot speed, and then luck. Um, I think that's what that is. Anyway, one of the items, one of the items that Samson starts with, which is why it's my favorite. Is that little tier in the my stuff uh, category? That's uh, bloodlust, and what that does is, if you notice, my tiers are bigger than they were when I started. Uh, that's because every time Isaac takes damage, uh, his da his uh, tier damage increases. That's what that item does, and so the tiers get larger as a as a result of that. So, but that's just that's just the item that Samson starts with as his particular player. There are lots of different start items for different characters and. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's the chemical peel. Yep, damage up. So that's another damage increase. Now that's a permanent damage increase. The increase from bloodlust will reset after each floor. Um, but the chemical peel damage will stay the whole time. Oh, ow. I should have been able to avoid that. But anyway, yeah, it's it's a really fun game if you can, you know, play it without getting super frustrated. And tears down. That was not the tears. That's what that second thing is. Tears. That's what's called the amount of tears that can be on it on the screen at once. Um, super fun game, and it's not it's not expensive either. Um, I think the main game is only like ten bucks, and the expansion is, I think, either five or ten bucks. Um, so, where is my map? Why don't I have my map? Oh, Curse of Lost takes away your map. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Let me make sure I've been everywhere. I think I have. I'm not gonna go in that room because that room has spikes on it, and that means every time I go in and out the door, it'll hurt me. I don't want to do that because I'm I'm low on health already as it is. All right, so this is the Duke of Flies, one of the main bosses of the game. Well, not one of the main bosses, but he's one of the original, or one of the um, lower level bosses of the game. Pretty easy to beat. luck up and I get two keys excellent all right and down the next floor you also notice in my uh, oh yeah they these weird dream sequences too they're kind of interesting they, they apply to the story in some way um, in the bottom right you'll notice I have a tarot card um, tarot cards have different effects see now my tears are smaller because bloodlust got reset um, tarot cards have different effects. The one I currently have will teleport me straight to the boss room, but I don't want to do that um, at this point because I, I just want to explore and try to get some more items. Items are extremely important in the Binding of Isaac uh, because without items you will die, pretty much. And they're, oh dear, oh, okay. Yeah, these guys suck. 
stone idiots. Um, and items, depending on what items you get, they can drastically affect the way you play the game, too. Because some of them will affect how your how your tiers handle, and obviously they do. some of them, many of them affect your base stats as well. So, all right. Dang it! Uh, that was annoying. Well, that was really short. We're gonna do another one. Man, that sucked. I actually did pretty well um, last night. I got all the way to one of the first end bosses, or one of the. Uh, they, they're like. Now this question mark item, this is actually some different item, but it just won't tell me what it is, because I have this Curse of the Blind on me. So it won't tell me what it is until I see it, and that's actually a very good item, so yeah, I'm I'm actually really happy about that one. Um, it, it protects me from damage, I'm not sure how much, but... I think it protects me from damage. Of some sort. Um, but anyway, I made it all the way to one of the final bosses last night. Uh, before I had my butt handily handed to me. heart and have a heart. Health is extremely scarce in this game, which is one of the reasons it makes it, or one of the things that makes it so hard. And yes, these things that I'm shooting open, these are piles of poop. You, uh, you guessed it. Oh dear. Oh my. Okay. Uh, er, go through a different door. Oh look, little poops that are mobile. That's awesome. Alright. Fortunately we gotta go through here again. Get to the boss room. Oh look, the Duke flies again. He's not the only boss. That just happened to be... That was just luck. There are lots of different types of... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, lots of different types of, of bosses. With different abilities and different attack patterns and all sorts of stuff. And this guy is being much more of a douche than he was a few minutes ago. Uh, stop being douchey, please. Can't, can't deal. Uh, also, my tears aren't as powerful because I didn't take as much damage this level. So, mom's heels range up. Yeah. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to grab this health. I'll be on my way. I'm going to try to blow up in this fire, see if... Uh, sometimes you can get coins and bombs out of fires. Nope. Alright. Continuing down. That is a challenge room. That will only open if you have one heart uh, container full or less. Not gonna worry about that right now because 
Although, it's actually pretty good on these earlier levels because the challenges are a lot easier. Range down again, really? The challenges are a lot easier. Oh no, that was a tears down I got last time. Range down. I mean, my range is still pretty good, though. I mean, it's covering almost, you know, more than half the room. So. Oh, not sure how I escaped getting hurt by that, but I'll take it. Oh dear. Well. Now this is one of the new enemies. This is like a mini version of one of the bosses, and he is a pain in the butt. Now there's an item in here, but I need a key to unlock that door, and I do not have one at the moment. Which is unfortunate. Ooh, there's a bag though. I might get a key out of there. Petrified poop, higher chance of or higher drop rate for items from destroying poops. may or may not have actually helped me. <laughs> Dang it! No key? Really? Of course not, because I actually need a key. You're not going to give me one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you are sad and I'm trying to kill you. But you started it. Oh, uh, no. No. Nope, nope. There we go. We need perfect. That was the last room too. That Oh I hope that's not what I think it is. I think that's soy milk. Oh, that is soy milk. I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> uh, but my damage is all the way down at 1 now. So... Bleh. I never used soy milk. I've never seen him spit bombs before, that's kind of crazy. That I've seen. Throw out bombs. Oh dear. I caught a lucky break on that one because he kept spawning in his own fire. <laughs> All right, so here's the devil room. This is this is actually Satan himself. Chill in here, and he will give you an item for one of your taking one of your heart containers permanently. But we're not going to do that because there's hardly anything that he ever has that's worth that. Hardly ever. Unless you have a ton of heart containers, which can happen, but most likely won't. And it is dark. And this is bad. Yeah, see, it looks neat, but it takes forever to kill anything with frickin' soy milk. Man, I knew that's what it was. Oh my gosh. I freaking knew it, that that's what it was. Yeah, I took it anyway. It's like, well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's lemonade. Lemonade is not that bad, actually. But no. It's freaking soy milk. Oh, dear. Oh, my. 
Okay, I can't see a thing. Not a ding dong thing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't even know if my damage is actually going up. This thing might have cancelled. Um shoot. This thing might have cancelled out bloodlust. Frick, if that's true. Oh, that sucks. so mad if, if soy milk canceled out bloodlust. I think it did. Dang. I'm almost dead too. A card here, what is this? Double. That does not help me at all. I was hoping it was the lovers, because the lovers gives you two hearts. It was not. Ooh, what is this card, though? This could be a heart card. Two of spades. Again, not what I needed. Two of spades multiplies the keys that you have on your, on your person. <gasps> Ooh, damage reduction. Mask of Infamy. That would be a lot more helpful if I actually was not already sitting at one half heart. <laughs> but... It could help. Oh, yep, there I go. Oh, bother. Well, yeah. Well, sorry we didn't get too far. <laughs> but you kind of get a taste of what the game is all about. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, thank you very much for 300 subscribers. Um, I am eternally grateful for those of you who have decided to invest your time in watching uh, these uh, weird videos that I put out. So, um, we will get back to Arkham Asylum next time. Uh, until then, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time. Bye.